The first step of DNA transcription is the DNA helicase unzipping the double helix of the DNA. It goes through splitting the hydrogen bond so the DNA can be replaced into two identical copies of DNA, which means that the DNA is semi-conservative. Once the DNA is split, the DNA polymerase adds nitrogenous bases to the leading strand. The polymerase gets the nitrogenous bases from within the nucleus and pairs them with the corresponding pairs. The four nitrogen bases are thymine, guanine, cytosine, and adenine. The DNA polymerase pairs them all in the same direction. However, when the DNA replicates, the lagging strand has to go backwards. The DNA can be read from 3' prime to 5'. Prime. The DNA can't be read in the same direction on each side, so the lagging strand has to be read backwards. The DNA polymerase adds the nitrogenous bases the lagging strand in chunks called Oasaki fragments. Protein synthesis is the making of proteins. Synthesis means to make. In protein synthesis, there are two major steps, transcription and translation. Transcription is the first step. Transcription starts off in the nucleus, where DNA is located. The DNA in the nucleus pairs exactly with RNA and creates mRNA or messenger RNA. The messenger RNA then leaves the nucleus and goes to a ribosome. The mRNA contains the instructions for making proteins. The mRNA leaves the nucleus through the nuclear envelope. Ribosomes make protein. Rib RNA or ribosomal RNA is what makes up a ribosome. Transcription is now beginning as an mRNA is being read. The mRNA is now read by the tRNA or transfer RNA, which contains an amino acid, which is a monomer for proteins. The tRNA has three nitrogenous bases on it along with the amino acid. Of the three nitrogenous bases, it could be uracil, which has replaced thymine, or adenine, guanine or cytosine. This group is called a codon. There are three bases are looking for a pair and when they find one, they drop the amino acid. This forms an amino acid chain held together by peptide bonds. This chain of amino acid is your protein, which creates your body and how you live. If they, the opposite of the codons is called the anticodons which is the three letters that make up, that connect to the codon that make up your proteins. Gene expression is a process from which a gene is issued and how it's used. And then once the proteins are done, they fold in 